Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Sunny Las Vegas. I'm here at Goodwill. It's been a while since I've been here. You know what we're about to do. I'll take that. Thank you. We're gonna go make it chin. Color of the day is blue. Oh, oh. I don't even want to look at apparel. I want to look at glass. And then we'll look at apparel. And that was some slim pickings. Actually, no pickings. But in the next hour uh, over, I end up seeing the cane along in the golf clubs. One thing about elephants that I look at is the trunk is up. That means good luck, supposedly. Trunk down, uh, not so good luck. So the condition of this seems to be a little suspect. And then the cane itself, plastic, it doesn't match with the quality of the brass topper. So for this, I'm going to end up passing on. I think if the cane was in better condition, it could sell for around 20 to 25 bucks. Wait, look at this. Look at that. Safety first, my friends. Also, kids walk around in these places. Watch your kids. But also, look out for some protective gear. Protective gear, you got to keep in mind, the condition has to be up to par because it involves people's safety. They could get really hurt if the product isn't right. So do your checks. Unfortunately, this, it's not worth it because of the price and also how much it sells for. We are off to a rough start, but it's gonna get better. And you see something to come across that I'm so excited about, which reminds me I need to get it listed. But coming across this bag right here reminds me of Camelbacks. I've sold quite a few that has made me some really good money. Sometimes I even find the bladders brand new alone, brand new in box. So if I could get them for a dry price, I save them if I could find a good bag a brand worth getting, adding it to, and making the money go up. So with this, it's not a really good brand. It is in good condition, but the bladder on the inside is something that isn't something uncomfortable with. Not reselling as well. The tube insider is green, but in a closer look, it has some funky stuff on the inside. I'm not gonna deal with that. So I'm gonna let it go. Now, working in security, standing hours on and my feet used to get really tense. So I used to use these pin racquetballs and roll them under my feet. It's a really good massage. And it also doesn't hurt as much as trying to use something like a baseball or even a golf ball. I recommend you give it a try if you haven't already. A lot of protective video here today. Razor is one of the brands that always reminds me of back in the 90s when I had a scooter. The type that used to air up the tires. The type that used to blow out on you when you'd go to max speed of like a million miles an hour. Did you have a scooter back in the 90s? They were so much fun. But these pads, they're not worth much. But they're worth getting if you need them. I don't know much about drums, but this looks like it's valuable. I couldn't find a sticker or a marking of saying it was Guitar Hero, Rock Band. I'm looking at the conditions, so I just kind of find something that helps me figure out what it is. So I end up doing what I do best, something very convenient using my smartphone. I use Google Lens, open it up with the camera, took a snapshot, and immediately it shows me what I'm looking at. Now I'm doing a comparison, counting each piece, making sure everything is there before I start looking up the comps. Now looking at everything now after the fact and editing in this video, I wanted to look more into it because I didn't get it when I was there. But you could sell everything from parts. Comps showed me the cymbals, the drum heads, the pipes or bars whatever those things are to the smallest little things are selling for 20 to 60 dollars each so it would have been worth getting but over here to the corner of me right in the lighting section is this beautiful lamp it's calling my name it's saying by me sunny las vegas i belong to you find me a new owner what am i doing over here with all this crappy stuff and why is that blow jar right beneath me What's going on? At least I still work. I got a lot of life in me. I want to be yours. Show me to the world. Oh, this is so dreamy. <laughs> Let me get some of this stuff out of the way. I really wanted to check the condition of everything. I'm really excited about it. I've been collecting a lot of stuff like this. Not, not too identical, but things like this. Things are fascinating. Things are rare. 
<sighs> just look at the way it just moves. I really like this a lot, and I'm gonna get it. But who makes it? Who's the maker? Is there any brands? Is there any scuffs? Any hard dents? Everything looks good so far. I like you, little guy. Let's turn this off. No maker, no marker, but the base is really nice. Yeah, you're coming home with me for $8. You're worth more than that. But how much are you worth? We're gonna find out. Similar lamps like this have sold and been listed for $150, up to $750. Now this does have some scuffing, just surface marks. But I still think I could get maybe around $300 for it. If I could get more, even better. So I'm gonna list it up high and see where it goes. Oh, there's some drumsticks that goes over here. They're not worth very much. Rug band, maybe around five bucks, free shipping. And then this other one, I'd even check. But here's some cops. Oh, got a little Golden Knights memorabilia? Collect these if you see them because they are worth some good money, even used. So for $2.99, I'm definitely gonna get this. I should be able to get around 20 to 25 bucks for it. But I didn't know that it actually turns on and the light works. The guy at the register showed me. One thing I'm working on is my space. Getting organized and making a spot for something like this. I didn't bother to check if it works, I was just curious about it. Recording purposes, learn about it later, see what y'all think out in the crowd. But it wasn't worth getting. It's too heavy. But then I came across this one. It's entirely different than the other one. And I looked down and that just doesn't match. Who put some screws in the washer? So contrast. And then it feels really heavy, it doesn't match. The top was really light. The stem is really nice because you could break it apart. That's a plus for shipping. Look what you see under. Somebody's hiding a five pound weight. <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> you are not coming home with me. <laughs> Somebody's getting a little shed eye up here. Is this Chip or Dale? I love that cartoon growing up. For $2.99, it's made by Disney. Some of these things could sell up to 40 bucks. Some of them around 15. For three dollars, I got a good vibe about this. Let's see how much it goes for. Look at this one here, you bum. I really want to get with others here in Las Vegas and go for some bowling. Look at these shoes, nice condition. Oh, 40 bucks. Oh my God, they sell for that much. Good for shipping. Pass. I haven't come across worthy shoes worth picking up, but I still look. Still trying to learn about them as much as other things, and just trying to make sourcing better. For the condition that these are in, they're not worth picking up. Especially for the price, they were $14. Come across Converse. This is nice, I've never seen something like this before. It did add a single stitch shoulders and sleeves, but the waist opening was double stitch. I think this is more of a knockoff, and if it was my size, I would have kept it. But I can't keep collecting stuff. I gotta make money. Now these are shirts I really look forward to. I think it's BDS or BDG. These are retro style for six dollars. Not worth it to me, even to put my own brand on it. But I do like that style. Here's another one, Jack Threads. I didn't think this was worth very much and I completely forgot that blue was half off. So it would have been $3. Some of them sell good, some of them don't. I just wasn't comfortable with getting. But then this one, ooh, on fire. NHRA NASCAR Racing, $4? Front and back print? This is vintage, good print. Black is okay on it. So for around 30 to 40 dollars. Hey, what's up, man? 
I'll have it right here. I, I, I usually have, uh, with the music on, I always have something else playing. I wish I would have took a better angle at this hello from a viewer. I didn't get her name and I wish I would have. It's just one of those things when I was recording, she asked if I was recording and I said yes. And she immediately told me she didn't want to be recorded. She got off to the side. Thank you. And if there's anybody else who sees me out, please do not be afraid to say hello. I would love to get to know you more and also possibly take a, a selfie with you but i appreciate you talking for a few seconds and i hope to run into you again i hope you came across some really good goodies j crew is a really good brand to keep your eye out on i've sold overcoats jackets t-shirts pants i like coming across this brand at the goodwill bins because it's a lot cheaper i usually do better on poshmark but but for it becoming q4 soon end of the year this type of winter stuff should be a good sell and a good pickup, but always make sure to do your checks just like anything else. And if you come across any feathers sticking out, leave it alone. It's okay to leave it that way. For $6, I'm going to scoop this up and I think it'll sell for around 35 bucks. Here's a jacket to look out for, Hartwell. This style reminds me of my uncles, my aunts, my cousins back home, and it's even my high school colors, maroon and gold. What's your high school colors? For 15 bucks, having embroidery on the front, it's a really good size, vintage, made in USA, and a team on the back. You could still sell these for around 40 to 50 bucks, maybe even more. Just the thing is, you're narrowing down your target audience or customer. So I decided to leave it behind for that reason. Heli Hansen, this is a great brand to look out for. From shoes, jackets, hats, t-shirts, rain jackets like this one, that HH right there pops out. Looking at the condition of this, I just feel like it's old. A vintage, a good old. It even still has a little tag on there where it might have been from the original retail tag. For $15, I have a strong feeling this is gonna go for some good money. Note to self. Don't just reach in the pockets. Oh, that was so gross. Ugh, let's watch that again. Ugh. I puked in my mouth. Yeah, I did put hand sanitizer on my hands after this. Chicks are coming out good, but you always want to be safe, folks. Spending $15 on something may not seem a lot to some people, but it's a lot of me. And I don't want to just let money be the waste because you can't return this. It's not electronics. Inside of the wrist inseam, I want to check the elastic, make sure there's no dry rot or even corrosion from sweat. The sweat can really ruin some material, regardless of what type of material and quality it is. So for the 15 bucks, I think it's going to sell for around 50 bucks. the moment you've all been waiting for the 5k giveaway winner we're gonna find that out here in a second make sure you subscribe hit the thumbs up button comment down below your pointers could also help me out and the things that i find or didn't pick up whether they're good or bad it's all a learning experience and we're here to help one another and i hope that you enjoy me and my friends stay tuned for more because we're still gonna get out there and make it chick and the winner is 5280 finds Lynn. I know this person. Also a great supporter here in the community. I also follow him on Instagram. I'll be reaching out to you to let you know that you won. Stay tuned, folks, because there's more giveaways to come as well. Have a good day. Have a great weekend. And I wish you the best.